Hello everyone! Again, was about to post another video when I realized this video might be more urgent than the other. Why? Because there's some exciting news developing right as we speak. SpaceX is about to initiate a number of ground-based tests on Starship Mark 1 in an effort for to ready Starship Mark 1 for actual 22km suborbital test scheduled for later this month, maybe not, or more likely in December. Starship Mark 1 will undergo critical ground test phase, ranging from tank pressurization and propeller loading to the rocket first triple Raptor engine static fire. The ground test should happen or could happen later on, maybe today or sometimes this week. However, increased activity on the ground indicates tests could happen within the next 24 hours. Over the past few weeks, SpaceX and South Texas team had to deal with really bad winter weather. As a result, SpaceX faced some delays. I guess this happens when you're building a giant rocket almost entirely out in the open, exposed to the elements. Nevertheless, SpaceX teams continue to progress on a Starship Mark 1 towards its completion. This month alone, SpaceX has reinstalled Starship Mark 1 nose and aft section flaps, this time outfitted with heavy-duty actuator mechanisms, nearly completed the process of routing and integrating the vehicle's external liquid and gas plumbing, and more or less finishing a bare-bones launch mount. At the same time, Starship was moved to the launch part for testing phase and eventual high-fidelity test that could culminate in 22km suborbital flight later this year. Could happen this month? But due to weather issues, it is now very likely it will be just before Christmas. I guess for many fans and observers, this might be a great Christmas present. Activity around Boca Chica has increased somewhat, indicating a number of prep works are being carried out by the team over at South Texas facility. It is quite evident SpaceX will expand the facility somewhat. Perhaps to the detriment of the local residents, who perhaps in their sleepy hamlet never thought would we'll see major space company open their shop right in front yard. That being said, some locals have become a real superstars of the space community across the globe. Boca Chica Girl, for example, who continuously updates us with her visuals of Starship Mark I. That being said, SpaceX Starship facility at Boca Chica is expected to expand dramatically in coming months and years. This is quite clear. SpaceX will add a number of facilities at South Texas Base to ensure continued expansion of SpaceX capability. This also includes future Super Heavy Starship, something I plan to talk about in my future videos very soon. We have some indication that SpaceX plans to do, based on official renders mockups in SpaceX updated 2019 launch animation. It could also eventually become the foundation of a much more permanent integration and processing hangar, much the hangars that SpaceX uses to integrate Falcon 9 and Heavy at its Florida and California launch sites. It is hard to guess what sort of tests will be conducted this week, however, according to road closures notices published by Cameron County, SpaceX is expected to begin operations that require road closure as early as November 18th, which means today, and from noon to 8 p.m. CST, with backups on 19th and 20th. Another window opens on the 25th of the same time, with backups on the 26th and 27th. This, however, doesn't mean SpaceX will conduct cryogenic ground testing with a Starship Mark I today. Whenever SpaceX does decide to start Starship Mark 1 ground testing, I'll report on it. However, it will be immensely important milestone for SpaceX and space exploration. The unusual methods SpaceX manufactures high-performance rocket prototypes for pennies to the dollar. In simple terms, if Starship Mark 1 behaves as planned, commercial spaceflight may never be the same. If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you.